talk a little bit about concentration. So what is a concentration? Well, concentration is just the amount of a particular substance in a given volume, and it's typically given as a percent. So if I, I think about, when I think about concentrations in my first kind of encounter with that, with the idea of concentrations is probably with juice, as, as a kid ma making juice. Um, so if you buy those cans of frozen juice in the grocery store, do you know what I'm talking about? The concentrate. Um, and so a lot, most of the juice says 100% concentrate, but if you get the sugary kind of juice, the really good stuff, um, it might say 50% concentrate. Juice concentrate. So what does that mean? That means that 50% of what is in that can, 50% of the volume, total volume in that can is juice concentrate. So can we think of this um, about how that would equate to dilutions? Um, if you had 50%, right, if you have a, a can of juice concentrate and 50%, right, 50% is half, I hope you, I hope you know that, 50% um, of our can of juice, the volume in, in our can is, is actual juice. So could we think about this as a dilution? Well, sure. The dilution is the parts of the concentrate over or to the total volume. And so if we have 50% um, juice, can we re rewrite this as a dilution? Well, sure. Um, we have one part juice to, to two parts uh, total volume. If, does that, so <coughs> that is how we could rewrite this concentrate as a dilution. Well, what do you do with concentrate? So when you, when you have that can of juice, what do you do with it? Well, usually you mix it with water to, ma to make juice. Um, and so we, if you look on the side of the package of juice, we, have, we mix one can of juice with, right, so one part of the 50% juice concentrate plus three parts water. Right. This is your solvent in this case. We usually don't talk about solvent in our food, but that's technically what we're doing. We're mix, we're diluting, right, our juice concentrate. And so what's going to be our uh, final uh, concentrate? So how much juice is there now that we've mixed three parts water and one part juice concentrate? So let's draw a picture. Maybe that'll help. So here's my big, not very beautiful picture of juice. It looks more like a cylinder, but that's okay. Um, and I've got, I've, add, I've, I've added three parts water and one part juice. So water, 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 and here's my juice concentrate. But my juice concentrate was only 50%, right? So only half of that juice concentrate is actually juice. So if I cut this in half, so I'm taking one half of the one fourth that I have, how much juice, concent or juice do I have in here? So I, I took one half, which is the same thing as my 50%, right? And I multiplied it by the one fourth, which is my dilution. So um, the original concentrate and I multiplied it by the dilution and that tells me how much of the concentrate I have in my new mixture, so my, my diluted mixture. One half multiplied by one fourth, I get one eighth, which is 
12.5% if I convert that 1 to a percent. Or if we just put on our calculator, we have 50% times 1 fourth, which is 50 over 4%, we get the same answer, 12.5%. And so 12.5% of our new solution that we've created by diluting that concentrate is <coughs> our final concentration. So if we dilute a concentration, so this is like the, prop, the last couple problems you had in the homework for the last section, where you take a, a dilution, and then you dilute it again. So how do you get the new dilution? You multiply the dilutions together. It's just here, when they give you a concentrate, it's given as a percent. But we could easily convert that percent into a fraction, which would be a dilution. Um, and so all we do is we take the original concentrate, you can leave it as a percent, convert it at to a fraction to be a dilution, and multiply it by, by your actual dilution, and you end up with the final concentrate. So let's try a couple of problems with uh, this idea of finding the new final concept.